Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Kevin, who's a good friend of the show, tipped me off to this story in the New York Times. And Steve, check this out. Brian X. Chen wrote this. We finally have free anti-robocall tools that work. We're talking about your cell phone ringing and it's someone trying to sell you something, often with a masked phone number. It's annoying, but I've noticed recently it's gone down because my phone has one of these programs on it. So here's the deal. There's a new feature for iPhones that screens calls, and it's similar to tech that's available already for Android users, and I am an Android user. So not a big Apple person, but I am an Android user with my, with my cell phone. So Brian writes, when I received a phone call from an unknown number this week, I didn't have to pick up the phone to find out it was a robocaller impersonating a utility company to offer to reduce my bill. A robot spoke on my behalf and told me what the caller had said. And he was testing a call screening tool for iPhones that's now included with the iOS 26 software, which arrived last month. He activated the feature a few weeks ago, and he said that he's noticed very, very few phone calls even popping up on his screen because the tool does its job without ringing anything on his handset. Call screening should come in handy for lots of smartphone users, like millions of people across the country. He's been bombarded with uncountable numbers of spam calls for the last decade. He's tested all kinds of tools and apps and so on, and they were all relatively ineffective. Now, Android users are in luck also because many users of Google's Pixel phones have had access to a similar call screener for a few years. And this week, Google said it had expanded the tool's availability to more countries, including Australia, Canada, and Ireland. Now, robocalls continue to be a problem because as soon as solutions emerge, scammers come up with something new. So here's what you need to do. You need to activate this if you have an iPhone. And I'm not going to go through the process in great depth, but you install the latest version of the iOS, settings, general menu, software update, settings, then apps, select phone, and then you find a thing that says screen unknown callers. And you can say, ask a reason for calling. And so what will happen is when someone calls your phone and they're not somebody that's recognized, uh, it'll say, may I ask why you're calling? And then what it'll do is it'll take what they say to it and transcribe it and let you read it first. And that's the same thing that happens on on my Android. So owners of Google Pixel devices and other phones that might be able to use this, again, it's settings, call screen, and there's a toggle for automatically screen calls. And if you wanna set a protection level, you can go maximum protection. And the cool thing about this is, is that I've had it happen before. I'm reading the, 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 the transcript and it's like, oh, hello. We are calling about your car's warranty. (laughs) And then I get to laugh, even though they're wasting my time, I'm wasting theirs because somebody's trying to get past this screening thing. And I can press one button, just tap one button, and it goes, please remove our number from your list. Goodbye. And it just hangs up on them. And and that's, that's, that's kind of fun. So... Google's virtual assistant will answer calls from unknown numbers, ask the caller for more information, and then give the user the option to report the call as spam or ask them to call back. And so, and by the way, once you mark it as spam, then it won't ring through at all. Uh, consumers eager to block spam calls have had to rely on third-party apps using technology that robocallers easily got around. Those apps relied on database of phone numbers identified as scammers and blocked calls from those numbers. And the problem, of course, is that robocallers can spoof phone numbers And I've told this story before, but I have to tell it again because it, in my mind, shows you what's so wrong. By the way, the story is quite lengthy, and if you want to read it, check it out. Brian X. Chen, we finally have free anti-robocall tools that work in the New York Times. But um, I've mentioned before that my mother passed away. It's, It's four years ago now. My mother passed away. And when she passed away, she was she was declining for a period of time. And she actually, at one point in time, was in a hospital very, very close to where I grew up. And it's a hospital whose name I know I would have immediately recognized as the hospital nearest to my parents' house. And I was sitting at my work desk one day, and my phone rang, and the caller ID showed the name of that hospital. And my first thought was, oh, it's news about my mother. Or it could be my mother. 
And I answered it. Hello, I'm calling about your warranty on your car. Now, I've gotten angry at robocalls before. I've gotten angry at sales calls and unwanted stuff. And I've gotten angry at people who've spoofed phone numbers. The most common phone numbers you see are utility companies or the FBI or other improbable entities that wouldn't be calling you about stuff. But <clears throat> that was just really bad timing. Things in the universe lined up very, very poorly that day. And it was such a bother. I remember I photographed the caller ID on my phone because I couldn't believe it happened. But I got a spoofed phone number call, and the number they spoofed was the hospital that my mother passed away in about three days later. It was a junk robocall. No question. And so, interestingly, those kinds of numbers calling my office phone have dropped off. But the numbers calling my cell phone uh, dropped off a little while ago because of this software. And now it's kind of interesting because I actually got one of these phone calls a day ago. And I know somebody who, because of what they do, actually blocks their cell phone's outgoing phone number. So it's not spoofed. It just simply says restricted. And this system is set up to stop those also. And so I actually got one the other day, and I, it goes, is an incoming call. Do you want to look at it? I look at it. And it's like, hey, Steve, it's me. Hey, Steve, it's me. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And I quickly answered it. And I go, I'm so sorry, but you've got that restricted thing on your outgoing phone number. And they were fine with it. They understood. But I know the author of this article even said that, yeah, there's going to be some snags because he had somebody calling him on his cell phone about a story idea. And I, I forgot if they wanted to pitch him a story or, or, or if they simply were going to provide him information about a story. And when they ran into that, they just said, ah, screw it. And they hung up. And he found out about that later. But I think most people are going to understand that, yeah, it's reasonable that there's something in place to stop the incoming bombardment of garbage phone calls. And I'm still convinced the phone companies can do something about it. I'm still convinced of that. But I've had people say, no, Steve, there's, there's, there, there are legitimate companies out there that need to make billions of phone calls a day in America. And I'm like, okay, so there's a legitimate business that needs to call my phone six times today? Really? It doesn't seem like that's that probable. But I suppose, uh, I guess, just people who know more about this than I do, all I know is that my cell phone has got this technology on it. I've got mine set to where I know someone's calling in, but I get to watch as they argue with the robot <laughs> about whether or not I'll speak to them. And it brings me joy. If I wanted to, I could raise the level up one notch and not even know about it at all. But the fun part is when I go in and look at my call history on my phone, it'll show spam, spam, spam. And if they had a number identifiable, I'll see the number. But the numbers are almost always 800 or 888 numbers or spoof phone numbers. But again, the fact that that spoofing technology exists is one of the scariest things to me. And, and the weird thing is I've never been taken in by it. But I was very, very upset by it once four years ago. And I think most people would understand that. And what are the odds? What are the odds that they actually spoofed the phone number of the hospital that my mother was in at that exact moment? And so it happens. So Kevin, thanks for sending that. Brian X. Chen wrote it, and he agrees. And he, I would not know this, but he's talking about he has an Apple phone. I've got the Android, but right now it's available for both. We finally have free anti-robocall tools that work. Questions, comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. I think my neighbor stole my gate. I wanted to confront him, but I was afraid he'd take offense.